All right, what is up, guys? We're back with part two of our UI design layouts for the Evernote app. So in the last one, we did the um, the Evernote app, the uh, the main sections, which is the uh, the side panel with the notes, and then we did the editor. In this one, we're going to be working on the login and the register pages. All right. So let me go ahead and get the frame going. MacBook Pro. I created a whole new draft, by the way. So let me get this going. The MacBook Pro got that screen. And then what we're gonna do is we gotta think about what of our what our um, our login and sign up is gonna look like, right? Um, I know for sure I don't really want it full screen. Um, because just by me remembering what it looked like when we log in, it was just a small square box right in the middle. And then you had the uh, the option to either um, sign in with Google or log in or it had like a little button that said register. I think that's what it had. So let's go ahead and, and structure that out. Um, get that design out. So... It was like a small box like this. And then what we did was um, we can put like a I can't remember what the top said, but we can put like um, a text that says "Ever Evernote app Evernote app." There we go. Um, doesn't have to be that big be like 36 all right uh, let's align that in the center is over here with their alignments center align that's good all right doesn't have to be that big because the text is not that big all right so we slap that in the center there uh you can put a um this of course be up under it, so this would be up top. Be up top. There we go. But this box here, no, this box, that box, it's gonna be like a white, so it has like a background, so you can, so the text stands out a little bit more. Eighty-five percent tra transparency there, so you can. So you can see it basically. Put that up. All right. So say like it says that right. Let's put that in the center. I can click it and then use my up and down keys to go from down to top, left to right. I'm just using my arrow keys on my Mac. So you can do that. And then uh, then it had an option of let's not make this so huge. Sorry, that was bugging me a little bit. All right. So then it had the option to where you can sign up to Google. So uh, that could be another text. It could be another text that says, uh, sign in with Google. It could probably be a capital G because you know it's Google. And then that can have a background to it, you know, like a box background. So you can, uh, so it stands out more with the box background. Uh, we can make that another white. Yeah. Uh, we'll get our colors in order once we, um, start doing the start doing the app because I really focus on that so up and down arrow keys to put it in the center there um, and then we'll have our our login our inputs of login so we can do that no this would be input field so what were to say Um, 
um, if you log in, should I say email or username? Username? No. Email and password. Email. Right. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I was trying to do. I was trying to do something and it didn't work out. Okay. Email. Copy that. Paste that down. Password. These are not aligned in the center. They're aligned to the right, left, I meant. Right? So then we're going to put some backgrounds behind these as well. Um... Because they're kind of like input fields, so they're going to look like input fields. They're going to be white, but they're going to be transparent. Like that. Get out of there. Another one for the password. Now this one. It's going to go there. We should stop doing that. There we go. Um, are they together? Why are they like that? Why are they together? It's not what I wanted. One square. Make that white. Do another one for Command D for duplicating it. And put another one. So that's gonna go there. It's gonna go there. Right? But the email and the password is gonna go on top of it so you can see it in front. And then we can change like the border radius of this to make this like a round looking. So what we do here what we do here is do like five. Oh no. Sorry, I have to rotate it, my bad. There it is. Five, 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 five. Right? And as you can see, that didn't rotate it enough, so ten for each side. All the corners has ten, so I have, that's why it has that, like, border radius looking thing there. Make this, uh this longer email email all right so what we're gonna do is do email grab the email and then grab this to put in a group so we can move it together instead of individually. Same thing with this one. No, not that one. Password and this square. It's going to be in a group so we can move it together. Like that. God darn it, keep moving this. That's all in the group. So we can move it together. There we go. Alright, so now. This. Going to have 50 all the way, no, 40 all the way around. There we go. This is going to have 40 all the way around. There we go.
Right, so that's the uh that and Evernote needs to be together. So we'll move that around. This and Google needs to be together so we can move that around. here longer longer there we go that took a long time but yes this is kind of uh, this is a, a basic overview of what it's going to look like right and then it's going to have the login button so we're going to have to put a square says oh crap I should have put a text there I'm in a text that says log log in alright you can put that in the center line that to the center you can put that uh, the background on it to make it uh, stand out a little more it's gonna make that uh color and we're going to put the login up top first group these two together and we're going to move this over there move this in the center like that and if it doesn't look in the center use your up and down arrows to put it in the center there we go it doesn't have to be that staking huge because I mean it can it can be because it's the um, it's the login button okay um, yeah so that's how it's gonna look and then once you move this over It's not grouped together, that's why this didn't move. Once you move that over, uh, it's gonna have like a text here because if you're not logged in, you have to register, unfortunately. So it will say register account. That'll be in smaller text because that's gonna be like right under it. Four. Put that bad boy like right here somewhere and then that'll be like a link and then once you click on that the, to uh, register an account what it's going to do is that it's going to duplicate that I just duplicated it by the way you're gonna it's gonna pop up in a different it's not gonna be on the same window or the same page I'm just putting both of them on the same page so you can you know see once you click on that register it's gonna boom it's gonna make another one but in this case it's gonna be um, it's gonna say username if I'm not mistaken username yeah and then move this down a little bit take that copy that one and then this one is gonna say email and then this is not gonna say sign up with Google I think it's gonna say uh, no, I think when you register it says login or is there a button that goes to login I think there's gonna be a button that goes to login. So this one can go up. Right? 
and then uh, I'll have the same text here duplicate that one put it over here and then instead of saying register it'll say um, uh, sign in like that and then I'll copy this button as well command D that's how I'm doing all my duplicates is command D and this one will say register Alright, so that's kind of the basic gist of how I want it to look. Now how I want this, um, the design to look. It looks pretty basic, but of course it's gonna, we're going to add more spice to it once we start getting the, um, start actually doing the design in the, uh, in the app. So this is how I want it to look. It's pretty good so far. This is the, uh, the login page, the register page. So let me show you when I go back. That I made a whole different post here. I mean, a whole different uh, draft here. That's the login and, and, and register. And this is our uh, Evernote homepage. Okay. So we got those down. Okay. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to be doing. We're basically going to be mapping out the project in the next episode. So we're going to be talking about the functionalities. Um, and how they connect together, how the UI connects together, and the functionalities that it has. Okay, so that's what we're going to be talking about in the next episode. So I will see you guys in that one.